Hey guys and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here we're going to do hand detection with the media pipe module. So in the previous videos in this tutorial here we have been going over like face detection with media pipe and we have also done the face mist detection. So we, we have done some different kind of things uh, with this library here already ready and I'm, now I'm just going to show you like how we can use the hand detection uh, machine learning solution that they have built into this module. But first of all remember to join the discord server I'll link to it down in the description here and you can come chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, and so on. You can always become a member of the channel here if you want to support the channel more than you're currently doing by just watching uh, with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So we're now jumping into Sublime Text here and I'm going to show you how we can set up this hand detection machine learning solution from Media Pipe here. So we're just going to do and set it up as in the previous videos as well with the face detection and face meshes. So first of all here we need to uh, import OpenCV uh, 2 here and also the Media Pipe uh, module that we're going to use. And then we're going to use this time module here so we can actually like time how long it takes to actually like run our algorithm so we can see the number of uh, like the frames per seconds uh, that we get by running this hand detection algorithm here. So first of all, we need to set up uh, both the hand detection um, detector and also the drawing solution so we can actually like draw the hands that we're detecting in our image with OpenCV. So first of all here we need to set up the hand detector here. So I'll just write uh, MP underscore hands here. And then we're going to set that equal to the MP because we're using the media pipe module. Then we're going to have this MP dot solutions because everything or like all of the different kind of like methods and machine learning solutions is built into this solutions um, class here. So we're ju just type MP dot solutions and then we can just dot hands here uh, at the end. So now we have actually like set up the hand detector from this media pipe um, module here that we're then going to use later on when we're actually like opening up the webcam, taking it in a frame, processing the frame, and then we can actually like draw the hands that we're detecting in that frame. So after we have uh, set up this hands here, uh, we can actually like go down here and then we need to set up uh, the drawing utilities. So we just have this MP underscore MP underscore drawer drawing as we had in the, in the previous videos as well. And then we're going to set that equal to MP dot solutions. No, not simulation solutions. And then we have this dot drawing utils as we, as we had in the previous videos as well. So on drawing underscore utils. So now we're actually like set everything up here with the optics for uh, for both the hand detection and the drawing utilities that we're going to use later on. So now we can just go actually like go in and use these uh, hand detector here and the drawing utilities. But first of all, here we need to open up our webcam here as we do with this video capture here from OpenCV. So we're going to open up our uh, webcam here and then we can go down here and use the actual like hand detector uh, that we are now set up in these two lines up here. So we can open up the hand detector here with this with MP underscore hands that we just set up and then we can call this uh, dot hands here and then we can set up some of the configurations for this hand detector that we're going to set up. So we need a minimum detection confidence here. So like a confidence score that we need to be over uh, to be able to like actually like say that this is a hand that we're detecting in our image. We're also going to set up a minimum tracking co uh, confidence. So when we're tracking the, the, the like the hands around in the image, then we also need to set up a, a confidence score for that. So if if the values or like if the confidence is over that threshold that we set up here, then we're actually like tracking the, the hands around in the image frame when we're moving the hands. And then we're just going to open it up at, at, as hands here. So we can then use this hands here later on to actually like do the detection in our image frame and then draw uh, the hands on our image frame as well. So now we can actually like go in here and we can just have this while here that is running while our webcam is open and we're just loading in an image like every time we can load in an image we're just going to load it in. So we're going to have this read, uh, cap dot read here. So we're going to read in an image from our webcam. We're going to store the image in this image variable and then if it was a success and we could actually like load in an image or like read in an image from our webcam then we're going to store it in this boolean variable here. Then we're going to start a timer so we can then time how long it takes to actually like do this hand detection algorithm. First of all here we need to like flip the image horizontally for a ladder uh, selfie view display and then we're actually going to uh, convert our image from BGR to RGB because this, uh, OpenCV, uh, when, when we read in the images from OpenCV we're actually like going to read them in as uh, BGR images but this algorithm or like this machine learning solutions from MediaPipe is actually like operating with RGB images so we need to convert it from BGR to RGB uh, before we're processing the image and after we process the image we actually like have to convert it back to be able to show or display the hand detection in OpenCV. So we're just going to call this uh, cv2.convert color and then at the end here uh, we have this color underscore BGR to RGB. So now we have converted our image from BGR to, to RGB. 
Then we can also have some uh, to improve uh, performance here. So we can actually like, set our image to be not writable, which will mean that we pass the image as a reference um, instead. And we can really write to the image um, when we're actually, like doing the process down here. So now we can process the image and find the hands that we're detecting in our image frame. So, and then we will store all the results here in this results variable. So we can then use that later on to actually like go in and get the individual coordinates from the different kind of like uh, hand detections that we have. And then we can just have this hands here that we set up uh, earlier and we can call this process method here. So this will do everything. It will run the whole algorithm. So we just need to pass in our image here that we have loaded in and convert it to RGB. Then we pass that image to through, through this process method here. And then it will just process it here in this, in this hand detector. And then it'll find all the hands that it's detecting in the frame uh, and tracking it around. All the results from this machine learning method here uh, that we're calling on the image will will be res, uh, res, uh, like stored in this result variable here that we can then use later on to either like print out the coordinates or draw the actual uh, the hands that we're taking in the image frame. Then after we have actually like processed the image, we just set our image here writable again to true. And then again here, we just convert our image back from uh, RGB to BGR. So we actually like able to display what is going on and what we're detecting in OMSV. So now when we have set up our hand detector here, we can actually like just write some code here if we found some uh, hands in, the, in our image and we're actually like going to track that uh, those hands around. So here we can just set up like this is statement here as we did in the previous videos as well. So we have this if results here dot <clears throat> multi underscore hand landmarks. So we want to get the landmarks for the hands that we're detecting in our image frame. And in this uh, set, uh, like in this line of code here, we're just checking if we're actually like detecting or like tracking some hands around in image frames. So we have this uh, multi underscore hand and then underscore the landmarks. So we have landmarks here. And then we can just have this uh, colon here and then we can go down here, have a for loop that just runs through all the detections that we're detecting in our image frame that we have loaded in from the webcam. So then we can we go down here and set up this for loop here. So we have the hand underscore landmarks. So we just want to run through all of the individual uh, hand landmarks that were detected in our image frame. And then we're going to ha have this for loop here running uh, through all of the, the results here that we have in this if statement up here. So we're just going to copy paste this uh, as well down here and then now we actually like have this for loop where we're just running through all of the hand detections that we have in our image so first of all we're just going to print out the in each of the individual hand landmarks here so we can see what is going on so if we run the program here and just print out each of these individual uh, hand landmarks here then we can see that we're not printing out anything right now because we're not tracking any hands here in the image frame but if i take my hands up here we can see that we now start to get some uh, some landmark coordinates down here at the bottom and as in the previous videos, these coordinates here are actually like uh, normalized. So we have to just like scale them back if we want to draw them or do something else with these coordinates here that we're tracking around in the image frame. So we actually like need to get the width and the height of our of our image frame here. And then we need to scale that with the normalized uh, coordinates down here. So now we can actually like get each of the individual landmarks here. We're not drawing anything on the image frame yet, uh, which is what, what I'm going to show you now. But if you just want to get like the coordinates and do something else uh, with them for your own purposes, like this is how you can get the individual landmarks. So if we're going in here again and just comment this uh, print the hand landmarks out here. Then we can actually like go down here and use the drawing utilities to draw the landmarks or like the, hand, the hands that we're detecting in the image frame. So if we go down here and use the MP uh, underscore drawing utilities here, and then we can set the draw on uh, like dot drawer, and then they actually like have a method for the landmarks. So we have to draw underscore land landmarks here. And then we need to set up some different kind of configurations and initialization here in this method. So first of all, we need to set up or uh, like give it the image that we want to draw the actual like landmarks on that we're detecting. And then we also need to specify what we want to draw, like what types of landmarks that we want to draw on this image that we pass here as the first parameter. So we want to, um, we actually like want to, to draw the hand landmarks that we're running through in this fold up here. So we have this hand underscore landmarks. And then at the, at the last parameter here is just like how we want to connect each of the individual landmarks here together when we're detecting the hand. So we just have this MP, um, uh, MP uh, underscore hands. So we're going to use this uh, MP underscore hands that we set up at the top with this object. Then we can call this dot operator here and then we have the hand underscore connections. So this is just how we're going to connect the each of the individual landmarks that we just printed out here. So we can actually like connect uh, our hands together so we can see like a hand that we're, that we're tracking around in the image frame. 
So we have this MP underscore hand uh, like dot underscore uh, like hand underscore uh, connections. So now we actually like have everything set up. We're both like processing the image. We're detecting the hands in our image for each of the individual frames that we're loading in from our webcam. And then down here in the for loop, we're checking if we're actually like detecting some landmarks. If we're detecting some landmarks, we have this for loop where we run through all of the landmarks that we're detecting in the image frame of our hands. And then when we're detecting that, we're actually like just going to draw the landmarks and then we're going to connect each of these individual landmarks so we can act like track around and detect the hand in the image frame down here at the bottom before we're running a program i just want to show you like here we're just ending the time so we're, we're timing like how long it takes for this algorithm to actually like run and how long it takes to process this image here to find the actual like hands that we're tra tracking then we're just going to have this uh, frames per second here which is just one over the total uh, total time here that it took for this algorithm to run and then we're just going to show here the image like the fps on the image frame here as well together with the hand detection that we're going to show as well and then down here we're just going to im show here so we're just going to show the image where we're both like showing the fps and also drawing the the hand detection then down here if we hit uh, escape here we'll just uh, run, we'll just terminate the program here and then at the end we will release our webcam here by this cap dot release and now our webcam is released and our uh, like our program has been terminated so if I run the program here now, uh, we will now actually like detect the hands. We're going to draw the hands. And now we're also showing the FPS here at the top. So we can see here now, we're, we're, when I take my hands up here, we're actually like uh, detecting my hands here, like all of the, each of the individual fingers. We actually like have some number of different kind of key points in my fingers. And we can see that it tracks really good uh, when I'm moving my hand around here. So this application here, or like this machine learning solutions can be used for a lot of different kind of uh, cool and nice applications where we can do a lot of different kind of stuff with the fingers. We can even like see like how good it tracks like in each of the individual fingers here. And it just like it tracks the fingers really good with a lot of different kind of key points. I uh, have some pretty good lighting here as well. So it works like pretty good here. Um, and I also get like around like 60 to 70, 80 FPS here on a common computer, but just only using the, the CPU. So we can see like it tracks the hand really good. It can actually like detect all of it. It doesn't get any false positives. It doesn't look, uh, it doesn't lose track of the hands here. We can do a lot of different kind of things. It doesn't lose track at all. So as I just said, it can be used for a lot of different kind of cool things. And this is a really nice and, and well optimized machine learning solution for uh, hand detection. And it's just really cool that they're, they're doing this and it can be run on, on common hardware. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And remember to subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. Because it just will help me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently also doing this uh, deep learning tutorial where we're talking about the basic stuff within uh, neural networks, how we can create neural networks from scratch, what is going on behind the neural networks. We're going to create them from scratch, training on data set and doing predictions on data that it hadn't seen before. And then we're going to combine deep learning with computer vision, see like how we can create some of these different kind of like machine learning, deep learning solutions where we combine like cameras, computer vision, deep learning, and so on. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else on the scene in the next video, guys. Bye for now.